today we speak to a woman named Shannon from Colorado. She turned to online dating after the death of her husband. She fell in love with a man online who claimed his name was Daniel. They met on Plenty of Fish and Shannon sent Daniel $120,000 to help finish a contract for his job so he could get back home and they could be together. On this episode, Shannon will meet the real man she thought she was in a relationship with online. Yeah, I, 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 oh my God, I see you. Hi there. <laughs> oh my God, I have, I have looked at this man's face for two and a half years, or at wow. least two years. Wow. <laughs> Real quick, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your comment and like could help stop someone from being scammed. Let's get into it. Yeah, I can't believe that I'm seeing you. You talk. You your lips are moving. I'm and real. You talk, <laughs> and you, yeah, you're real. You're a real person, not just a picture. I, I even have videos of you exercising, where you're in a in a gym and you're doing yeah. sit ups and, and stuff. It's like. Those were the only real moving parts of you that I got to see. I can count every mole on your face. I know every point on your face. Wow. Literally. <laughs> I just, oh, it's so great to meet you. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe yeah, I'm, you. Got, uh, where are you from? Please tell I'm me. I'm in Southern California. And uh, so in the LA County area. So, uh, I saw the pictures that they sent you, and the, and the interesting part about that workout one, that was probably in late 2018. I, I had joined the, the certain gym. I was going through a program at that time. Um, then I saw the uh, the uh, the name the gentleman used, and and the the uh, the passport. The funny part funny part about a passport is that I don't have one. No, you like do. I don't own one. I don't. I haven't yeah. one anywhere. So. Except it expired. <laughs> right. And my question is: that at, at any point that you feel something was up? All the time, but I wanted it to be so real. That was the problem. I wanted it to be so real. I was just when he talked to me. He talked to me so. Oh, I don't want to say I, it was the most romantic sexy type and then looking at your picture you know just like i went right off the deep end i fell in love with your picture i mean literally to me you were the you were i would rob a bank for you i wow. would probably jump in front of a car for you i mean that's how much i went head over heels and it's like mm -hmm. damn you're a sexy ass man <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> that picture of uh, of the hospital, uh, pretty interesting, which will be in the next month, a couple of weeks. It's my sixth year anniversary of being cancer free. Oh, so that, congratulations. Thank you. That, that was the first the hospital. That one that he that showed me uh, yeah. your story was uh, you got beat up because uh, he went and got money out of a uh, ATM type thing. And as he got the money out, two guys were there in Cyprus and he walked around the corner and they beat him up and hit him in the head. And he ended up in the hospital because of that. Wow. So he asked me to send him another $3,000 after that. And then I had to pay your doctor bills. Wow. <laughs> or they wouldn't let him out of the hospital. I can't believe I'm really looking at you. You're really real. You really are real. You just, oh my God. <laughs> I want to cry almost. <laughs> Albert has nothing to do with this scam. He is an innocent man who just had his photos stolen. You can find me on Instagram at adcoach333. And then I'm also a loan officer for at Security National Mortgage Company. So you can find me. All my information is basically on Facebook too. 